In Jesus name we pray. Ni oruko Jesu ni agbadura. Heavenly Father we thank you tonight. Baba wa tin be Lord adupe lowo yin fun ale o ni. God of miracle. Olorun alagbara Olorun oni se iyanu. God of wonders and God of impossibility. Olorun oni se iyanu Olorun to le so gogo. Am bere lowo yin la leyi Oluwa. Pe ki e fi agbara yin han. Pe ki e fi ifamero yin han yin han. Ke fo gogo ajaga. Ke e pa gogo ise isuro. Ke e si so awon eni ayin de omi ra la leyi. E se iyanu ninu aye awon eni yan yin. All those who have come today will never be the same again in Jesus' name. Lord, touch everyone. Turn everyone around and transform every life. Be glorified in every life. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. And everybody said, Thank you very much. You can sit down. I welcome every one of you to this Sunday revival in Jesus' name. And I pray that the anointing of the Lord will come upon your life. The anointing that breaks every you. The anointing that destroys the works of the devil. Tonight will be your night in Jesus' name. And come on miracle will come unto you. Uncommon power will be manifested in your life. And tonight you are going to have a testimony in Jesus' name. Tonight as we come to this great gathering, I mean two passages of scriptures to you. One in lamentation. And the other one in Ezekiel. One in the book of Lamentation. And I'm reading from chapter 3 of Lamentation. I'm reading there from verse 15. And then I will jump over to Ezekiel. There's a connection between those two passages tonight. Look at Lamentation chapter 3 verse 15. He has filled me with bitterness. You notice one word there, it, it's called bitterness. He has filled me with bitterness. He has made me drunken with one wood. He has also broken my teeth with gravel stones. He has covered me with ashes. And thou hast removed my soul far off from peace. I forget prosperity. And I said, My strength and my hope is perished from the Lord. Remembering my affliction and my mystery, the warm words and the God. My soul has them still in remembrance. And is humbled in me. Now if you notice one word in verse 15. He has filled me with bitterness. I want you to pick that word bitter. There's lamentation all over the world. In our city here, there's lamentation almost everywhere. There's a lamentation that talks of bitterness. And life is bitter. In the family, there's bitterness. In the community, there's bitterness. As we look at poverty, as we look at affliction, as we look at suffering, as we look at, we look at all the deprivations of people. There's one word you can talk about. And there's something you can point out as what has happened to people or what is happening to people. And it's the one word Peter that explains everything. Now I'm coming to Ezekiel chapter 36. And there you'll find that connection. Between the passage I read to you in Lamentation 
And the person you are looking at in Ezekiel. In Ezekiel chapter 36, I'm reading from verse 11. Ezekiel chapter 36, verse 11. It says, And I will multiply upon you man and beast. And it shall increase. Here is the promise of the Lord. The Lord is giving us a promise here. And He's saying, I will. Actually, as you look at this chapter, all over, over, and over, and over again, the Lord tells us what He will do. He will do something in your life tonight. Somebody there I said, He will do something in your life tonight. And then he says, I will. There is the willingness of God in your life today. The faithfulness of God in your life today. The power of God in your life today. Is going to change that bitter situation in your life today in Jesus' name. That's why he says, and I will multiply upon you, man and beast. And they shall increase. And will bring fruit. Fruitfulness will come to our lives in Jesus name where there is barrenness where there is sickness where there is suffering where there is affliction the Lord is going to turn everything around and then he tells us that I will settle you after your old estates first of talking all to, talking to the children of Israel as a nation talking to them the prosperity they knew in the past which they couldn't see anymore the peace of God they had in the past which they didn't have anymore and the security they had in the past which they couldn't have anymore the Lord was saying although the story is like a bitter story everywhere a bitter situation everywhere and a bitter kind of suffering everywhere where, a painful condition everywhere. The Lord is saying a time of change had come for that nation. And for you here tonight, a time of change has come. A time of transformation has come. And a time of miracle has come to you tonight in Jesus' name. And then if you look at that verse 11 of Ezekiel 36, he says, and I will do better unto you than at your beginnings. He said it's going to turn every situation around in our lives. And you shall know that I am the Lord. He said a practical knowledge will come to you. That he is the Lord. The Lord God of miracles. And the Lord God of power. And the Lord God of all impossibilities. And the Lord that comes so your life tonight. And it says it's going to turn your crying to laughter. It's going to turn your sorrow to joy. And it's going to turn the suffering. It's going to bring wonders in your life in Jesus' name. What's the connection between lamentation and Ezekiel? In lamentation, when people lament, they cry. When people lament, they are sorrowful. When people lament, it's like things have turned upside down. That's why lamentation says, all you can say about life is that life is bitter. And as lamentation talks about being bitter, personal life bitter, family bitter, community bitter, employment situation bitter, economy bitter, everything appears to be bitter. And we cannot have a place of peace and the joy and the prosperity and the good things we used to have we cannot see them we cannot have them and so we get into lamentation 
one word you find in lamentation. Peter. 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 Here comes Ezekiel. And it breaks another word. And it breaks the word better. Tonight, everything will change from better to better. Are you there if you believe? Are you there if you know there is God? Are you there if you know there is redemption? Are you there if you know God is going to do it in your life? Peter will turn to better. It will happen to somebody there. What is that person there? Uncommon power is coming your way. I'm talking to you on the wonder of turning bitter to better. The wonder. The wonder of turning bitter to better. The wonder of turning bitter to better. Three things we're going to look at. You know, Ezekiel is the one conducting us to the better life tonight. Ezekiel is the one showing you how to come out of bitter to better. He says, lamentation will close up in your life. Lamentation will finish in your life. All those tears, everything will come to an end tonight. Ezekiel said, follow me, I'll show you the way. Ezekiel said, let that I go out of the way and better things are going to come. Ezekiel said, let poverty go, power will come, prosperity will come. Ezekiel says, let sin go out and salvation will come. Ezekiel said, Ezekiel is saying, let sin go out of the way, eternal life will come. Let that I bend. Let that I bow. Let it give submission to the Lord Jesus. Let the I quit and give way to Emmanuel Christ to come. And your life will never be the same again. What's the sequel saying? How to turn bitter to better? Number one, renunciation of the bitter life. Only a balaja a yetoti koro the renunciation and the rejection and the turning away of the bitter lie he says identify that bitter lie renounce it reject it turn away from it push it away and separate yourself from that bitter life and say from tonight I, I reject bitterness from tonight I reject the suffering from tonight I reject my sin I allow the better sin to come I love the one to come. I love the powers to come. Tonight, I'm telling you that your life will turn around. The renunciation of the bitter life. Number two, the restoration of a blessed life. Restoration. Restoration. Everything you have lost. Every good thing that you have lost in your life. Restoration is coming tonight. I said restoration is coming tonight. Number one is renunciation. That Peter said, push it away. And this blessed life. The saved life. This transformed life. Restoration. The restoration of a blessed life. Number three, the realization of a better life. Before you live there tonight, you will realize something. Before you live there tonight, power will come from heaven. Anointing that breaks every yoke will come. And the anointing will drive away every bitter sin out of your life. Your life will become better from tonight in Jesus' name. 
saw somebody there will say amen. The realization of a better life. Let's look at what Ezekiel is saying. The first step you take. Moving out of the bitter life to the blessed life. The first thing you are called to do. Moving out of what is bitter. Moving out of your suffering. Moving out of your darkness. And coming into the light of his blessing. It's in Ezekiel chapter 18. Ezekiel chapter 18. I remember what Ezekiel is telling us. Remember what Ezekiel is showing us. Remember the reason Ezekiel is talking to us. He's telling us how to come out of bitter to better. And he says it begins with renunciation. It begins with rejecting something. It begins with pushing away something out of your life. It tells us in Ezekiel chapter 18 verse 23. Have I any pleasure at all that the wicked should die? Have I any pleasure? This God talking through Ezekiel. Have I any pleasure at all that the wicked should die? Says the Lord God, and not that he should return from his ways and return from his ways and leave. To return. To reject. To repent. To turn away. For everything that makes your life bitter. Ezekiel is telling us. Sin and suffering are connected. Sin and sickness are connected. Sin and bitterness are connected. Sin and evil are connected. Sin and bad luck are connected. And it says tonight is a night of freedom. It says I don't have any pleasure in the death of the wicked, in the suffering of the wicked. I don't have any pleasure in the poverty of the wicked. But I'm waiting for him to take the first step. Let him turn. Let him return. Let him call upon the Lord. Let him repent that he should turn from his wicked ways and leave. And so come to the middle of verse 30. The middle of verse 30. It says, repent and turn yourselves from all your transgressions so iniquity shall not be your ruin. Ezekiel said, Did you hear about better life? Did you hear about the blessed life? So Bonnie by how does it come to you? How will negative change to positive? How will all those impossibilities of your life become possible? He's saying that you will repent and turn away from your sin. And look at verse 31 here. In verse 31 it says, cast away from you all your transgressions. He said, all your transgressions bundle everything together. Whatever you have done, that you have transgressed the word and the commandment of the law. He says, you cast everything away from you. You turn away from every evil sin. You say, bye bye completely. Turn those wicked acts. Turn those wicked acts. And to all those wicked actions, bye bye completely. He says, You cast away from you all your transgression. Whereby you have transgressed. I make you a new heart and a new spirit. For why were ye thou out of Israel? For I have no pleasure in the death of him that dies. There are people that die prematurely. There are people that die another person's death. There are people that rush into 
today. And God is saying, why should you rush in today? With, with every, every kind of drink you have, if it is a, a terrible drug, you're killing yourself. With the marijuana and the cigarette and the cigar, you're killing yourself little by little. With all the violence in your life, you're killing yourself little by little. You're exposing yourself to danger. And you're exposing yourself to premature death. And he says, you're going through a bitter life. And he's saying, but a better thing is waiting for you. Heaven has written a better thing for you. And God has written a better thing for you. And Emmanuel has come. Emmanuel is Jesus Christ has come. Jesus Christ and he brings better things for you. But you see Kelly saying, come out of that bitter life. And come out of that transgression. And come out of that transgression. And come out of that iniquity. And come out of that idolatry. And come out of that evil. Number one is renunciation. Renunciation. And when you renounce all that, I say, Lord, I come. Lord, I come. I want to change. I want a transformation. I want a better life to come. And I'm taking the first step. That's why I'll be calling you to take that first step tonight. I know you are there. You want that better life to start. I know you are there. You want that blessed life to start. I know you are fed up with this suffering. You are fed up with all the oppression. You are fed up with all the bad things happening in your life. And you are listening to what Ezekiel is saying. As he said that it's in your hand. And that I will get out of the way. The eye that fights. The eye that drinks. The eye that commits fornication. The eye that goes into adultery. And the eye that is violent. And the eye that is in idolatry. And you say, yes, I know that's what is being in the problem in my life. And tonight I come. Christ is knocking at your door. He says, Emmanuel wants to come in. Christ wants to come in. Jesus wants to come in. Your Savior wants to come in. That I will have to beg. That I will have to bow. That I will have to submit. That I will have to surrender. I will say, yes, Lord, I come. Yes, Lord, I come. I leave darkness behind. I come to the light. I leave evil behind. I come to the goodness of the Lord. I leave all the magic behind. And I come to the power of God. And I leave all idolatry behind. And I come to Jesus and Jesus only. He says that renunciation will bring a restoration in your life. Ezekiel chapter 33. Ezekiel is telling us how this better life will come. How this renewed life will come. How this greater life will come. Ezekiel chapter 3. I'm reading from verse 11. Ezekiel chapter 3. Say unto them. Ezekiel go and tell them. Preacher go and tell them. Peter can turn to better tonight. Your life in particular. Are you there? Mercy is coming. What is she there? Mercy is coming. What is she there? Life is coming. What is she there? Something better is coming. And then you tell I get out of the way. Emmanuel wants to come in. Emmanuel, I said Emmanuel wants to come in. Emmanuel, Emmanuel is Jesus. Emmanuel, Emmanuel is Christ. Emmanuel, he is the Savior. He is a healer. He is a deliverer. 
He is a redeemer. I get out of the way. That individualism get out of the way. And let Jesus come in tonight. Better life is starting. I said better life is starting. Better life is starting. What is better life? I said, where is better life coming? I said, where is better life coming? Are you serious about that? I said, are you serious about that? It will come. Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. Say for yourself, Lord, I believe. Point number two now. The restoration of a blessed life. The restoration of a blessed life. Ezekiel is saying, take that first step. Ezekiel is saying, make that renunciation. Ezekiel is saying, count one. Then two will follow. If you don't count one, two will not follow. Ezekiel chapter 34. Here is number two. I have restoration tonight. I said I have restoration tonight. Say it for yourself, I have restoration tonight. Ezekiel chapter 34. Ezekiel chapter 34. I'm reading from verse 25. And I will make them a covenant of peace. And I will make with them a covenant of peace. The Lord is calling you. And when he calls you tonight, you come into a covenant. What's a covenant? A covenant is an agreement that God himself is coming to you now. And he's saying, I'm going to have a covenant with you. First of all, a covenant of pardon. I promise you that I'll forgive your sin. The Almighty God is saying, I promise you a covenant of pardon is going to come upon your life. I will not count your sins against you anymore. If you will renounce, if you will repent, if you will reject, Satan is my enemy. God is saying, Satan is his enemy. If you will break your union with the enemy of God, and then you come to God, I've rejected Satan, I've renounced Satan, I've repented of my sins, I come to Christ, he says then, I'll make a covenant with you, a covenant of pardon, they will forgive your sin, a covenant of peace, he will make peace to reign in your heart. Peace in your family. Peace in your surroundings. Peace of the Almighty God. A covenant of protection. When I read everything to you, you'll understand what he's saying. Number one, a covenant of pardon. All your sins forgiven and forgotten. I will put your sins in the depths of the sea. And they will never be remembered on us or in heaven. I will not see to hinder you from getting to heaven. A covenant of pardon. A covenant of peace. A covenant of protection. And it will protect you from the enemy. It will protect you from Satan. It will protect you from evil spirits. It will protect you from evil power. It's a covenant of purity. It says, I will wash you. I will cleanse you. I will purge you. I will purify you. All the defilement you have. He said, leave that to me. Once you renounce, once you reject, once you remove your hand, once you come to the Lord, He says, leave the rest to me. I call you to a covenant. A covenant of pardon. I forgive all your sins. A covenant of peace. I will have peace with you. A covenant of protection. A covenant of purity. A covenant of power. 
hour will come and break every yoke in your life. And it says, it's a covenant. If you will come, this covenant will come between you and the Almighty God. Look at that verse again, chapter 34, verse 25. And I will make with them a covenant of peace. I will cause the evil beast to cease out of the land. Tonight, evil will stop in your life. Premature death will stop in your life. The cross will be broken away from your life. And it says, and it shall dwell safely. They shall, they shall dwell safely. Protection will come. That's the covenant the Lord is talking about. And I'll make you a covenant of prosperity. Famine will vanish away. Scarcity will vanish away. Joblessness will vanish away. Lack will vanish away. Tonight, it will supply all your needs. Are you there? So Do you believe? So I said, do you believe? You believe that God cannot lie. That God is calling you to a covenant. And he says, if you come, it's going to bring that covenant into your life. And that covenant includes the covenant of prosperity. It's a covenant of his presence. The covenant of his presence. That's why he says, I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake Take you. See what the Lord is calling you to. Look at that verse 26. And I will make with them and the places round about my hill a blessing. A blessing is coming your way. And I will cause the shower to come down in a season. And there shall be showers of blessing. Showers over there. I say showers over there. I say showers over there. Hey, showers coming upon your life tonight. Showers of blessing. Help me shout it. Showers of blessing. Help me shout it. Showers of blessing. It's the blessing of the spirit. The blessing of the spirit. It's a blessing coming from heaven. As a rain comes down from heaven. The Holy Ghost will rain down blessing tonight everywhere. We read that blessing today everywhere. When the showers begin to fall tonight. Showers of salvation. Showers of healing. Showers of deliverance. Showers of being set free. Showers of miracles. Showers of signs and wonders. When the showers begin to, tonight. You come out those stay inside somewhere. When the rain is falling, that's the time to be out. It says it will be the blessing of the spirit. It will be the blessing from heaven. It will be an outpouring. Outpouring. There will be an overflow tonight. It will flow to your side. It will flow to your side. I said it will flow to your side. It will be the blessing of his wonder. And the blessing of his empowerment. It's going to be the blessing of redemption. And the blessing of the supernatural in your life. Supernatural in your life. Look at chapter 36 of Ezekiel. Ezekiel chapter 36. I read it from verse 25. Ezekiel 36 verse 25. Then I will sprinkle clean water upon you. 
You in particular. You are the candidate for that salvation today. You are the candidate for that pardon today. You are the candidate for that peace today. You are the candidate of that prosperity today. You are the candidate for the purity today. Then will I speak quickly what are upon you. And ye shall be clean from all your filthiness and from all your idols. Will I cleanse you? I will cleanse you. I will cleanse you. I will cleanse you tonight. I said they will forgive you tonight. I said they will pardon you tonight. And in your heart also will I give you. And in your spirit will I put within you. And I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh. And I will give you a heart of flesh. He will give you a new heart tonight. Better six are starting tonight. The better life is starting tonight. The good life is starting tonight. Verse to seven, and I will put my spirit within you. And cause you to walk and to keep my, my judgments and my statutes and to do them. Ezekiel tells us there's a way out of bitterness into what is better. Ezekiel says leading out of the bitter into the better. He says the number one, renunciation. He says number one, repentance. He says number one, rejection. He says number one, push away and cast away from you every evil thing. Number two, he says there is restoration. There's pardon. There's peace. There's protection. There's purity. There's prosperity. And he says that the presence of God. And he says tonight is your night. Just a few minutes now. The realization will come in your life. All of a sudden, you wake up. Peace of God will come to your heart. All of a sudden, you wake up. Healing will come to your body. Miracle will come to you right there. Your tears, it will wipe away. Your joy will come. All of a sudden, those blind eyes will open. All of a sudden, that lame man will rise up. All of a sudden, that dead person, the ears will be Begin to see. All of a sudden, that goiter will vanish away. All of a sudden, look at miracle right there. All of a sudden, look at the miracle right there. Where is miracle coming tonight? Where is healing coming tonight? It's coming your way. I said it's coming your way. You'll have it in Jesus' name. Number three, the realization of a better life. The realization of a better life. A better life is coming to you tonight. A realization is coming to you tonight. The moment I comes out of the way. And the moment you welcome Emmanuel Jesus. The moment you take Jesus your heart and your life. Ezekiel chapter 36 and verse 11. 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 Realization. I will realize. Realization. I will realize. Say it for yourself. I will realize the better life tonight. I said I will realize the better life tonight. Peace will come to my heart. Pardon will come to my heart. Prosperity will come to my life. The goodness of the Lord will come to my life. Ezekiel chapter 36 verse 11. 
I will multiply upon you, man and beast. Multiplication of blessing will come upon your life. This day is going to be a turning point in your life. It shall increase and bring fruit. And I will settle you after your old estate. There's something saying in your heart, oh, the good old days, the good old days. I wish the good old days will come back. The good old days have come back to you tonight. And I'll set you after your old estate. I will do better things unto you. Whatever good thing you had before, something greater is coming today. Remember one time you were not sick at all? Remember one time you could walk with your two legs? Remember one time there was no hypertension? Remember one time there was no diabetes in your life? Remember one time you didn't cry at all? The Lord is saying those times of goodness will come back tonight. And he says better than the old. Better than the past. Better than that life of joy and laughter. I will do better things unto you. Your personal life will become better. Your family life will become better. Your professional life will become better. Your friendship will become better. Better. Everything in your life will turn around. And he says it will be better than your beginning. And you shall know that I am the Lord. And you shall know that I am the Lord. My friend, this is the day. This is your day. It's a new day. I said it's a new day. A day when every negative thing will give way in your life. A day when power will come from heaven. I come upon your soul. I come upon your body. I come upon your life. And then all those negative things will drive everything away. Are you ready? So, I said, are you ready? So, are you ready for the blessed life? Oh, I'm ready, ready for the better life? Oh, I'm ready for, ready for, ready for, for pardon? So, I'm ready, for ready for peace? So, I'm ready for covenant? A covenant of peace with the Lord? A covenant of peace with Emmanuel? A covenant of transformation? A covenant of change? But you know, you cannot stand far away from God and say, okay, make the covenant I'm here. Oh, the dress on a toji race. Okay, keep going. Keep my jam. We are my bond. Be man is going to have a covenant with a woman. And they're going to get to the altar. And that woman is going to say, I'm going to give up my name. I'm going to marry this rich man. I'm going to marry this prosperous man. She will live where she is. And she will come. And then the man and the woman will be together. And then at the altar together, they'll have a covenant. A covenant that to promise each other. You take this man as your lawful husband and you're going to keep to him. He says, yes, I do. Do you take this woman as your lawful wife and you're going to stay with her? Yes, I do. Emmanuel wants to get to that covenant with you. Jesus of the Savior wants to get to that covenant with you. Yes, he wants to forgive your sin. Do you take this sinner to become a saint? He says, yes, yes I, I do. Do you say, take this sick person to become healed? Yes, yes I do. Do you take this person to have bitter life and you'll turn his life to be better? Yes, I do. Now you have to also say, yes, I do. 
you have to come be. out of where you are and say, Jesus, I am here. A covenant of peace. A covenant of pardon. A covenant of cleansing. A covenant of forgiveness. And it's a covenant of a change of life. I take Jesus as my Savior. I take Jesus as my Lord. I turn away from everything that is sinful. And I come to Jesus Christ tonight to be my Savior. Let's bow the eyes closed. Let's bow the eyes closed. The Lord is telling you tonight. Life can become better. The Lord is telling you tonight. Your life must become better. The Lord is telling you tonight. Your life will become better. Better on us. Better in eternity. You will not perish, you will not go to hell. But it's calling you. It's calling you to come to a covenant. If you are coming to the Lord tonight, if you are saying, Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I come out. Out of that bitterness. Out of that sin. Out of that darkness. Out of all the oppression. I come to Jesus tonight. He will be my Savior. Wherever you are, you raise up your hand. You say, Yes, Lord. I'm here. Yes, Lord. I'm here. Yes, Lord. I'm here. Wonderful. Life is going to change tonight. Wonderful. Life is going to turn around tonight. If you are raising up your hand, you'll stand up. The better day is starting right now. The better life is starting right now. If you are raising up your hand, you'll stand up. You're telling the Lord, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I give my heart to Christ. I will get out of the way. That individualism will get out of the way. Way. I come to Jesus as my Savior. Where are you there? Where are you there? Hurry up, hurry up. You will stand up in the pavilion on the very on the great and right in front of me. If you want that better life, you are coming to the altar. You are coming for a covenant with Jesus Christ. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I take Jesus to be my Savior. Wherever you are, come out from there. Come out from there. I come to the altar right there. I come into a covenant relationship with Jesus. He will change your life. He will turn your life around. He will change your life. He will give you the better life. Come out, come out here. Come out here. You yeah, come out to the altar. It's the altar of covenant. It's the altar of covenant. It's the altar of covenant. The covenant of pardon. The covenant of peace. The covenant of purity. And the covenant of his presence. And the covenant of prosperity. Tonight is that night. Tonight is that night. Tonight is that night. Number one, a, a renunciation. As, as you come. As you come. You are telling the Lord. Maybe you want to kneel down before your God. Maybe you want to kneel down before your God. Maybe you want to kneel down before your God. Maybe you want to kneel down before your God. Maybe you want to kneel down before your God. I surrender. I surrender. I surrender. I surrender. I surrender. I surrender. Keep on coming. Keep on coming. Keep on coming. As you come, come to the covenant. As you come, come to the altar. As you come, come renounce and push all the swords of darkness away from you. The Lord is waiting for you. The light is your night. Peter will turn to better. Peter will turn to better. Tell the Lord what you are Tell the Lord why you are there. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I turn away from my sin. Keep on coming. Keep on coming. Keep on coming. I turn away. 
I turn away. I turn away. I renounce. I reject. I give myself completely to the Lord tonight. Keep on coming, keep on coming. And as you so come kneel down there, I make a covenant to the Lord. I say, Lord, hear me. I surrender my heart. I surrender my life. I surrender everything unto you. I give myself unto you. Keep on coming, keep on coming, keep on coming. Keep on coming. Keep on coming. He's calling you. He's calling you. And while you are there, open your mouth. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. I tell the Lord, I renounce. Walks of darkness no more. All the marijuana no more. All the violence no more. All the wickedness no more. I surrender my heart. I surrender my life. I give myself completely. Like the new wife gives herself completely unto the husband. Like the woman that comes in covenant of marriage gives up the old boyfriend and gives up the past life and say, I do, I check this man. The same way you come to Jesus tonight, and you forsake idol, you forsake your sin, you say, forsake your evil, you say, Lord Jesus, I come, I come to you tonight, you will be my only savior, you will cleanse me, you will wash me, and you bring me to this covenant. I agree with the term of the covenant. And then you give you peace in your heart. You give you pardon for your sin. You give you cleansing and purity. You give you protection. He will give you the power. The power to live in newness of life. And then he'll bring prosperity into your life. His presence will never leave you. Everywhere you go. Everywhere you go. You carry his name. You carry his authority. You carry his anointing. Because now as the name of the husband is added to the name of the wife. And I would not call her me so and so anymore. We call her Mrs. So and so. So the name of Jesus, Emmanuel, God with us, will be with you every time. Renounce reject, repent, then say, Lord Jesus, so, I take you so, as my personal savior. Personal Savior. Personal Savior. I believe you died for me on the cross of Calvary. You are taking my place. I receive your pardon. I receive your salvation. It's happening right now. While you are kneeling down, can you raise up your hand there? Raise up your hand there. I'm praying for you now. If you have come to Christ, and you say, yes, I do. I accept him. I receive him. I believe him. I turn away from my sin. I turn to the Lord to be my savior. I pray for you now. Raise up those hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you today. We thank you because you are a God of covenant. A God that never fails. You have given us a promise. Whosoever will come to you, you will in no wise cast away. All these who have come and have rejected the way of evil, they have renounced the way of sin, and they have totally turned away from all their past. And they have turned to Jesus Christ to be their savior. And they receive you now as your personal savior. Save them in Jesus' name. Forgive them in Jesus' name. Make the covenant of pardon and peace with everyone right now in Jesus' name. Let your peace settle in every heart. Let the joy of salvation come to them. Let the assurance of salvation come to them. And the Power to live in newness of life. Grant unto them now in Jesus' name. Let that I give way. 
Let Emmanuel come to their lives. Let Jesus reign in their lives. Let a better life start right now. Confirm each and every life, Lord. I thank you because I know you have answered. In Jesus' name, I pray. Ni oruko Jesu ni mo gbadura Praise the Lord it has happened Eyin Oluwa logo o ti sele Counselors are there and wa gba ni ni maran wa wa nbe We will give you papers to fill Won a fun e la won iwe kan lati oruko e sile O se pataki Very very important O se koko That you fill your names there I give all the details. I call our minister to help us with the counseling session now. And then after that, after we finish with this session, I'm going to come back and pray. Healing will be multiplied tonight in our midst in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Okay, hallelujah. People of God, I said, praise the Lord. And ye ni oluwa, okay, hallelujah. The better thing is coming now. Onto dara julumbo wa. Better life has come. Ibiaye to dara julumbo. Miracle. Ibiye yano. Healing. Iwosan. Deliverance. Ibiande. Power. Agbara. Somebody there is receiving. And the company only. I said somebody there is receiving. Oh, then the company only. You will not go back on the way you came in Jesus' name. Oh, Nick, but I lost late. Repose a while. Look at ready for your miracle. Brazil, I will say, Yano, identify the problem or the sickness and lay your hand there. My sorrow now, one while and my son now goes and then you will raise up the other hand. While what you are working, so I will go to pray. I'll see that. And God is a God of covenant. He has given us the covenant. He said he will heal. He will deliver. It's a time for him to fulfill the promise of that covenant. I want you to hear the final amen. You check up yourself. That miracle would have landed right there on your body. Raise up that hand. Now, the other hand where you have the problem. There's no exception. God is no respecter of persons. The miracle is coming your way. Father, in Jesus' name. Baba ni oruko Jesus. We bless your name because we are God of covenant. And a God of power. A God of anointing. A God of miracles. A God of showers of blessing. Lord, I pray tonight. Let showers of miracle come upon your people in Jesus' name. Do the impossible in every life. Take all those infirmities away. Heal incurable disease here tonight. Wonder signs in Jesus' name. Any brain problem there, command that evil spirit and that evil affliction come out in Jesus' name. All the swelling in your body, any part of your body, I command that swelling now. Come out in Jesus' name. That cancer, I command that cancer dry up and be healed in Jesus' name. Also be healed in Jesus' name. Diabetes be healed in Jesus' name. I blood pressure be healed in Jesus' name. Tuberculosis and every kind of cough I command you right now be healed in Jesus' name. And all that medical report that shows that this is there and that is there i pray right now the lord will touch on your point of need be healed in jesus name 
gbogbo awon akosile gbogbo esa ta ilera ti awon aba jade ayewo tun wa ti se gbogbo esa to wa ni ru agbo ara re mo pa se gba ewo sa ti mo that is your blood i command you dry up now in jesus name Oh Lord, I pray that all those moving objects, oppression in their lives, cancel everything. Oh Set them free. Deliver them in Jesus' name. Ears be opened in Jesus' name. Your tongues be loose in Jesus' name. Those dim eyes and those blind eyes, the touch of the Lord is coming upon those eyes now. Open your eyes and see in Jesus' name. I pray the power of God will come upon your body right now. A quickening and life to come right there. Power to come right there by the power of the Lord, the anointing that breaks every yoke. Rise up and walk in Jesus' name. Everywhere, Lord, manifest your power. To the left, power. To the right, power. Individual power. Healing everywhere. Deliverance everywhere. Miracle everywhere. Enter sin has come now for everyone in Jesus. Confirm it in every life. Shout of miracle. Shout of healing. Shout of deliverance. The joy of wonders of the Lord. Let it come upon everyone. Thank you for the confirmation. In Jesus' name I pray. Ni oruko Jesu ni mo gbadura Praise the Lord, it has happened. Hallelujah. I said, praise the Lord, it has happened. Check it up there, you'll find your healing is there already. Your miracle is there already. Your deliverance is there already. And as you see the manifestation, ushers and counselors and our workers, check it up with them and let's have a confirmation right there. Amen. Amen.